You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do Good it. to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights, and the building in which DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226. Uh, but this venue will always have a special place for us. This venue holds a special place in my heart. UFC 226, I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history. Tonight, you get your chance. Clean with that offer. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this game. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. Nice elbow lands at range. Making all these shots count. There it is. Now he's going to mount. What he needs to do next is push the left arm across and try and secure it. With his hand on his bridges. Oh, no way he got out. He was able to create enough space to get his chest back flat on the mat and defend that arm trying. Unbelievable. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Get the ball here. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Push kick there to the body. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, that one landed, yep. Oh, there you go. Yep, he's left him right there. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, right into tip. Ooh, looks like it might be locked in. Once again, he you know, got so many ways to finish armbar. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Under a minute to go in the round. Oh, straight contest there again. Right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. Take down a Jeff late in the round, and he gets it. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges. And Big Trying to set up a choke here. Oh, that bar through choke is tight. And a very close round. A takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. Big knee lands to the body. Oh, big head kicked in. Nice job blocking that punch. Great timing on the take now. Beautiful finish. Look for him now to try to work to a submission. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Back to the feet now. Lands the kick to the body there. Not much behind the takedown offering there. And he blocks the shot there. Push kick there to the body. Well, thank God the left one's open because that right eye is really starting to show. He passes to half guard. Great work here from the bottom fighter. 
All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of... on the right side of his body. Well, the opponent seemed to think he had short up the takedown defense. It did not hold up there. It may feel good in practice, <laughs> but you don't know until the guy's in front of you. Hit the takedown attempt after takedown attempt. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. And he's back up again, so the takedown's a... Oh! oh well disguised hip toss there to get his opponent down. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Yeah, it looks tight. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you got to get out of here. And Ooh, another shot to the head. was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Hunt man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Alright, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man to sink. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, he's tapped guillotine. Oh, he's in trouble. There's the tap. Oh, Takes the judges out of it, gets the finish. Holy smokes. So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that and he gets a submission victory. Amazing.